How often have you heard of the term open source scanning? Most of us go through the pain of scanning your artifacts before deploying things into production and we realize that there are a lot of vulnerabilities inside your artifacts and the moment you start fixing them you get introduced to new and new bugs due to dependency injection problems. What if I say that it's very easy to get feedback on the open source scanning for your projects in GitHub as much quickly as possible and for free? Let's take a look at Sneak, the open source platform for scanning for vulnerabilities in your artifacts. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Sneak is a completely open source platform where you can integrate your GitHub projects so Sneak can identify if there are any vulnerabilities with respect to artifacts in your code base. A simple example would be let's say you have a Maven or a Gradle project and you're bringing in dependencies from Jackson and Jackson let's say has a vulnerability. Sneak will immediately go and identify these vulnerabilities and the good part about Sneak is it will allow you to raise a PR and it will try to fix these issues on behalf of yourself. The only thing you have to do is click on the open fix as a PR. Most of the time, this reduces the burden of identifying what is the correct version which we need to fix because identifying issues is one thing, but fixing them is another. That's where Snake's intelligence helps us in identifying what are the product versions which are free from vulnerabilities. Let's try signing up into Snake. The good part about Snake is it has an IntelliJ plugin, it has a command line interface and it has a UI as well. If you're using Sneak for the first time, you can do the sign up option. Since I already did a sign up, I'm clicking on the login option using GitHub because I already have logged into Sneak with my account. See that it's logged in and I have few projects which I allowed Sneak to scan and Sneak has just scanned some of my projects. For the sake of the demo, imagine that I am a new user and I want to scan a new repository. So what will I generally do? I need to go to the projects tab and click on the add project because I need to scan a new project and the source can be selected from here I'll select github as my source and this identifies what are the different repositories which I have inside my github project so let's select some project which we can scan black duck integration demo is a project which is a java project a spring boot project let's use this particular repo so I want to identify what are the vulnerabilities which are present inside this particular repo. So I'm just selecting this particular option and I say add selected repositories. Now Sneak will identify what are the different vulnerabilities in this particular project by running through some scans and identifying how can we fix them. And let's try fixing it in an automated fashion. See that there is a new option here and this is a report which is specific to the repo Black Duck integration demo. So it is saying that there is a vulnerability. There are five different vulnerabilities. See that there are five different high vulnerabilities and there's only one low vulnerability. There is no medium vulnerability. Notice that in the right side, there is a series of vulnerabilities, the issues and their fixes. The vulnerability function says, okay, this is specific to Jackson. This is specific to Tomcat embedded core version, which can create denial of service attack. There is a remote code execution attack as well. Cross site scripting is a low vulnerability. Deserialization of untrusted data. So these are different vulnerabilities which Sneak has identified in our code base. Now, how do we generally fix them? We just look at this report and then we search in Google or we search and identify what is the non vulnerable version and then we fix them manually, isn't it? Now with Sneak, you can directly create a Jira issue generally. If let's say I am an application owner and I want my team to fix this particular issue, I generally create a Jira and then I assign that Jira. But Sneak can in fact fix this issue right now. So I'm going to click on the open fix PR option. This is going to create a pull request by fixing the issues, whichever it can. So see that it says four issues can be fixed by upgrading or patching the available version. And there are some partial fixes which are available to fix these two issues. Let's say for the sake of the discussion, 
I don't want to fix all the four. I want to fix only one, which is deserialization of untrusted data. Let's click on the open PR option and then see what happens. So this says generating the PR with selected whatever, whatever, preparing your PR and it notice that it goes to GitHub link and it fa in fact, it opened the PR. See that there is an option now says sync bot commented. Now this PR fixes one or more vulnerability packages and it's saying what is the link for the sneak project T it has fixed. So it has fixed the vulnerability of um, Jackson data bind from 2.9.8 to 2.9.9.1. And it says what are the different vulnerabilities it has fixed. And let's see the code change, right? It raised a PR, but I don't know what code change it did. So let's go to file changes and see that it automatically did a code commit. This is what we wanted, right? Most of the time, we don't want to go and fix these kind of vulnerabilities manually. And that's what Sneak does for us. Let's do a approve and uh, retest it. Now that we know Sneak has fixed it, but how confident are we? The pull request is merged now. Let me go back to, to the Sneak project. And let's retest it to see if the vulnerabilities are going away. The moment I click on the retest now option after merging our pull request, now Sneak does a rescan of our code base and it look at that the vulnerabilities have gone down so there are only two high vulnerabilities right now and i can fix them now if i come back to the code base uh, take a look at that the form got changed with the new version updated so this is how sneak can update our code base by creating a pull request onto our bitbucket or github repository whichever you can integrate with with in an automated fashion the other good part about Snake is you can have a CLI installed in your machine. So I don't have the CLI right now, but there is an option where you can use the CLI to run these tests on your code before committing these onto the GitHub repositories. There is one more way of using Sneak. You can use the IntelliJ plugin and start using Snake. I hope you found this particular tool interesting and useful. I found it pretty useful because it's very difficult to scan our artifacts with a paid version or an enterprise version because it's extremely costly to scan your artifacts and then get instant feedbacks on your vulnerabilities and sneak does it for free for us and the good part about sneak is it even fixes them i hope you found this particular video interesting and useful as always if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much